In this video, I show you how to blur a video and also how to blur specific parts of the video, for example, someone's face. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Please do watch this video right until the end to so the full steps and let's go and get right into this. Here we are in CatCut and as I probably already have said, I want to go and show you how to blur the whole video, for example, the whole screen. And then I also want to show you how to go and blur specific parts of the video, for example, just someone's face. So to start off with, I want to show you how to blur the whole video. So to do that, all you need to do is go and be on your video and go and press on effects. Then once you go and press on effects, go and press on video effects. Then all you want to do is go and select basic and you want to go and scroll down until you can go and see blur or mosaic. Both of those are quite good. Mosaic is more sort of pixelated, but go and tap on blur and then you can click it again and you can adjust it. Or you can just go and press on the tick just like so. And as you can see, you go and get this blur box and you can go and adjust it just like so to make it longer. Now I want to go and show you how to blur specific parts of the video, for example, someone's face. So to do that, you first need to go and split the part of what wants to be blurred. For example, if I just want to blur my face for the first sort of, or the mid three seconds of this video, all you want to do is tap on it, and then you want to go and make a split here, and then we'll split after here. I just want to go and blur my face in this middle section here. So then all you want to do is go and select it just like so, and all you want to do is go and press copy to scroll along until you can go and see copy just here. And when you go and press it, it's then gonna instantly put it next to it. Then all you want to do is go and tap on the one it just went and copy and pasted, go and scroll along till you go and see overlay. And it's going to have these two lines here. So tap overlay just like so, and then it's going to go and put it beneath it. And then all you need to do is go and hold it. And then you can go and drag it to position it where you want it to be. So you want it to be exactly below where we went and copied it from. So as you can see, that's now directly below the original clip, which has been copied from, and they're both directly above and below each other. Next, all you want to do is go and press on the back button in the bottom left, just like so. And there we go. As you can see, you can see where the overlay is by the red line. But now what you want to do is go and press on effects, just like so. And you want to press video effects again, and you want to go and find blur. So go to basic and then scroll down until you can go and see blur or mosaic, whichever you prefer. So click on it just like so, you can go and adjust it by clicking adjust, um, and then go and press the tick when you want it. So here it is at the minute, um, it's a bit short, so I'm gonna go and click on it once and go and drag it out to be a bit longer. So that's perfectly aligned now. And as you can see at the moment, it just says main video. So once you've clicked on blur, you're gonna have this option in the bottom for object. So click on object, and as you can see, if I go and press overlay, you want to make sure overlay is selected and then the main video is gonna remain perfectly clear and it's gonna remain sort of non-blurred, if you know what I mean. So go and press the tick there. Next, all you want to do is go and press on that little bubble again where you can see the clip and it's gonna go and show you the overlay. Then go and make sure it's selected as it already is, just like this. And you want to do is scroll along until you can go and see the option for mask. And when you go and see mask, don't tap on it just like so. And as you can see, we go and get a few different options. So if I go in and press circle, for example, just like so, as you can see, it's now masking it except from that whole circle. And then all you want to do is go and adjust it to where you want it to be. So I, for example, if I want to go and blur my face, I'm going to go and move it so it's over my face just like so. I'm going to use these arrows to make it a bit bigger just like some a bit wider as well, then put it over my face. And as you can see, my face is now blurred. I can go and press on the tick just like so. And then we play it back. As you can see just there, you can go and see my face is blurred. And that's literally it guys. And of course you go and increase the intensity of the blur as well by clicking on the backwards arrow again, um, and then go and clicking on effects, tapping on blur, and then going and adjust. And we can increase that all the way up just like so. Press the tick and then we can play it back. And as you can see, it's now gonna have a really big blur. And if you want to go and track something, for example, the face is moving, then that's really easy as well. All you want to do is press on the back button again, go and press on the overlay so we can go and see it again by that little bubble thing. Then go and tap on the clip again. And all you want to do is go and press on this tool up here, which is called the keyframe, it's the diamond. So all you want to do is press on the diamond just like that and it's gonna go and make it there. Then when your face moves a bit, for example here, I could then go and scroll along to the mask button just like so, and then you want to go and adjust it. For example, if I wanted it to be a bit bigger like that, I could then do this and then press tick. And when you go and press the tick, it's then gonna go and make that diamond. And as you can see, if we go and play it back now, the blur is actually gonna go and get longer as that's what we've keyframed it to be. And then if I want the blur to be really small again, press on the keyframe button once again, press on the mask button and we can go and adjust it. Then go and use the adjustment tools once again. If I just wanted to say my eyes to be blurred, just like that, go and press on the tick and then we can rewatch the whole thing. And as you can see, it goes and makes it bigger and then it goes and makes it smaller again. 
And that's literally it guys, you've now blurred a certain part of the video and you can blur the whole video as well. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like, subscribe for more, peace.